and she says you're really attractive Lou and I hope that you can see that transform it's finally happening Listen. hello 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 and welcome back to the second episode of our werewolf series do you notice anything different about the background yes the large wooden box shut up shut up shut up the large cardboard box is gone so now i have a bunch of space to like you know do that um but you might be wondering why we are in create a sim and who is this you know fine specimen right here this is lou howell and he is a member of the wild fangs episode we noticed that luna our sim found him very attractive so we have gone and given him a bit of a makeover and he's also gonna place a part in our plan but he has the kleptomaniac trait and i went into his like description and i actually noticed that i haven't read the description of like the households which we will do before we head into this episode shortly after Lou's arrival in moonwood mill he tried to impress his date celine by taunting the town's notorious feral wolf greg his poor decision led to painful consequences for both him and celine but while she sought a remedy Lou figured he could just ride this one out which didn't turn out as anticipated will this master of mischief learn to love his new inner wolf or will he try to find a way out of the mess he's found himself in i just thought his backstory was very interesting and when we also asked him about moonwood mill he said that he stole something and now he ran away to this like town i'm not sure but we're gonna find a way to put that into our storyline in this episode so we are in manage worlds because i want to like read the description of the lots and the whole the households in moonwood mill so we're going to start with the volkovs because in the last episode we found out that christopher volkov who is the apex of the moonwood collective his daughter is rory who is the wild the wild fangs apex so christopher volkov has been around longer than most can remember he founded and leads the moonwood collective and is eager to take in any werewolf feeling displaced or lost Lily found the household long ago, a lonely wanderer who had lost her close friends to the vampires. So Lily should have some beef with the vampires. I, If you watched my initial expectations video, I talked about how I wanted like the vampire, the typical vampire versus werewolf storyline, and it is showing itself here. After her came Rory and then Jacob. Though Rory's relationship with her adopted father has soared, Jacob and Christopher's connection has flourished both bear the same calm yet intense soul and everyone in moonwood mill knows christopher's intends for jacob to be the heir to his pack so jacob is going to take over from christopher when he grows up okay next we have rory oaklo which is christopher's adopted daughter most of moonwood mill knows rory as the leader of the wild fangs but she first arrived as a confused young werewolf under the care of Christopher Volkov. He tried to counsel control and to nurture her like one of his garden flowers, but the two grew apart as Rory grew up. His ideals and values stifled her inner wolf until Rory chose to listen to the beast inside her and moved out to form her own pack. Nowadays, Rory may seem like she has it all figured out, but deep down, she's still discovering how to be a leader she always wished Christopher could have been okay so she still has some doubts about running away but she went out and created her own pack okay and in the last episode we were introduced to this to the main character of our series the beautiful stunning gorgeous luna seymour i don't really know how to pronounce the name i gave her but i think it's pronounced seymour but she's an ambitious kleptomaniac and hothead the storyline I gave her was that who was the leader of a gang? She ended up having to run away and then she found this abandoned town. And so she just wanted to lie low and you know get rid of the law. But now she's seen that there's a like very organized system of werewolves, a very organized system of pack. And now she's found an opportunity, and that's the reason why I gave her the ambitious trait. She's found the opportunity to get back to the status she had before, the gang leader, and she has seen that opportunity with the wild fangs. So the storyline of this series is that we're gonna try to take over from rory and we're gonna try to rule the wild fangs and first the first step which has already been done she is getting closer to becoming a werewolf so this should be really fun but we also made it a rack switches so we have our fabulously filthy stuff 
we also have our little garden where we're gonna get a bit of money today i want to focus on getting these like this first milestone in our aspiration so i'm gonna start with reading werewolf books so i'm gonna head to the library which is just next door and we're gonna get started on the library situation we go see right room but later on i'm gonna say what his role is in the whole plan but for now we're just gonna head to the library alone okay we are at the library and i'm gonna get her to read some werewolf books um beyond big and bad rethinking harmful werewolf stereotypes i'm gonna start her off with that she needs to know about what she's dealing with you know wow she is very angry webbies luna is feeling irate after that brush with werewolves she feels a bit strange is she coming down with something but in this case she actually knows what she's coming down with and she actually wants to become a werewolf so it's quite interesting hold on there man i never noticed these tables but they have like crates and the tabletop is a door that is really cool if you remember from the last episode this the librarian what's his name no hack told us that if we moon gaze we would like get a special dream and we tried that why are you so lucky and we tried that a bunch and we didn't get anything but i'm starting to think that he meant we should moon gaze with this yes he meant moon gaze with that so tonight i'm gonna try that and see what special dreams we get like the description on the back of the book suggested luna is definitely being challenged about her preconceived notions on werewolves and who knew werewolves and dogs were so close from now on she isn't going to be quite so afraid of werewolves when they're just doing their thing so i like the fact that reading the um, reading the werewolf books like actually unlocks something about them i think that's really interesting i like this little like reviews about the books i think that's really interesting okay we are done with reading our werewolf books so what we have to do is become a werewolf level up to runs and experience a full moon and i don't think there's anything else we can do apart from that but something i also wanted to do because i think i'm not really sure if you can actually like take over the pack and actually become the apex but i'm gonna do this like if that's not a possible option i'm gonna just like do the dual thing with rory and if we win then part the storyline is just gonna say that we are now the alpha so let's head home so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna invite i'm gonna invite ru around and i'm just gonna try to get to know him because he's part of our plan to take over the wild fangs but i'm gonna try my best to level up our relationship and i will catch you guys when i am done there's too much fun out there for us well to spend a single minute about feeling sorry for ourselves the wild fans have helped me improve myself they've taught me to embrace my identity as a werewolf i'm never going to apologize for who what or where i am so i feel like we have like being his friend is not going to be enough to persuade him to join our side where we finally want to take over from rory but i feel like if we go a step further if you go into the romance section maybe just maybe he will take sides with us against rory so i'm gonna go and put in a bold pickup line and that seems to have gone well and he's now my romantic interest and she says you're really attractive lou and i hope that you can see that so we are going through the romance routes to make him turn against rory but it's getting late now so i'm gonna go to the library and like game moon gaze with the little telescope thing and then we're gonna come over back and get to bed i just went to the library and somehow lou is here with me and i swear i didn't invite him or maybe i did and i just i'm not sure but he's come to the library with us so maybe we can do a bit of chitty chats romantic take picture we can hook up with him that's a bit fast but okay he's like goodbye actually the library is not my thing i'm gonna leave right now but we're gonna go up and we're gonna have a little bit of moon gazing time how much does it thing cost but i feel like we can just buy it you know or he just went around the back what are you doing, Lou? Lou babes! What is this man doing? Oh, he's just going to... Okay, you do you. While I just, you know... Take over the world. Nothing much, it's not that big of a deal. 
But we're gonna do a bit of moon gazing. And I heard that there is a new death that came with this like telescope thing. Like a meteorite death. So we have to like look out to see so we don't we know we prevent her from dying because that would be very tragic so she's acquired the logic skill and when I, when i do series i like to give someone what i like to give everyone like skills that they should like complete before the end of the challenge or the series so for her i think i'm gonna go with um what maybe logic and fitness because fitness we're gonna need fitness to you know fight rory and we're gonna need logic to you know because we are criminal masterminds so i'm thinking we go for logic and fitness we already are logic level two so she can now collect plant samples and analyze them under a microscope but she's really good at this you know the bitch werewolf ally from werewolf diplomacy this these sims have a special kinship with werewolves and aren't alarmed by the werewolf analytics by the werewolfy antics i'm thinking is maybe from the book we read the dangerous assumptions or something but i'm thinking that's why we have the werewolf ally trait that's really cool we get traits from reading books now that's really really interesting i love that but i think it's um time for us to go back home and see what special dreams we have and she's also happy that she made a new friend so it's kind of like a win-win situation she uses it what's wrong with you babes what's that on your face i think that's supposed to be like the blushing thing maybe he's feeling flirty and like the blush overlay is on his face because of slice of life i kind of thought it was like the skin detail situation if you don't know about that you haven't watched my random genetics challenge i promise you it's traumatic so make sure you check that out great advertising so we're back home i'm gonna send her straight to bed and see what special dreams we have okay i don't think we're getting any special dreams today because she's woken up in the by 5 a.m actually and she's hungry she needs a shower so i'm gonna just take a quick shower and Oh, we need to like clean that before we can use it again i'm just gonna go quickly i'm gonna get a trash can and i'm also gonna get the grill so you can make some proper meals so while i'm waiting for the next stage of our webby situation i'm gonna send her over to start fishing because we kind of need the money we also have to start like building our house so i think we start fishing to get ourselves a bit of money okay she doesn't want to fish fine by me but i'm gonna invite rory to come hang out at our lot and then i'm gonna try to make friends with her because it was kind of hard making friends with her before but now that we were friends with lou maybe it's gonna be a lot easier to make friends with her but rory has come around and we're gonna try to improve our relationship with her talk about recent shower you know that's a trending topic in the world community and she's flirty I don't know about her love life, but she's flirty right now. I've been talking with Rory for a while, and the girl is not easy. Like, I literally spent like a few hours with Lou, and we have like almost full relationship. But I've been I've been talking with her for a while, and we're still acquaintances. But like, our relationship keeps going down. Like, she just is a boring conversation. She's just not. She just doesn't enjoy our company that much. Claim to be a criminal mastermind. Maybe that's gonna help but i want to like remove all her suspicions about us i want her to trust us i'm gonna ask her about hobbies and skill try to get her on a good side so she does suspect that we actually want to take over from her oh ho ho pardon me while i twiddle my mustache and think of more ways to be the most boring werewolf in the history of werewolves maybe talk synergy with some townspeople tomorrow oh how quaint ha what i'm so confused sorry can't keep a straight face trying to act like the dweeb the dweebwood collective oh she's talking about the moonwood collective i've never i'll never lead the wild fangs to become some single circle friendship force or whatever we're here to dominate the werewolf world other occults come here from time to time before coming here i'd never met a spellcaster i was always around normie sims born and raised in a standard normie family it's strange to think about now i wouldn't want to go back to that so she's enjoying the supernatural life she has no regrets about being a werewolf 
she didn't like our conversation but that was a very boring discussion even for our sim luna we're not just getting along well but i also found out she's also ambitious and she's also hot-headed so we're kind of like the same type of people but like who can't be friends and she said she wants to take over the werewolf world so i actually headed back to the library because I kind of found the information we got from those werewolf books really interesting so I kind of want to find out more about those we were gonna read the other oh, ooh she has insashi buhonga Luna seems to be getting hung hungry much faster than usual she's absolutely famished so she's getting way more hungry so we need to find her some food so I haven't actually visited this lot like a lot <laughs> I haven't visited this lot a lot but I haven't visited this lot much so I'm gonna head I don't think I've actually visited this lot at all. But I'm actually gonna visit the bar. Maybe we can bring Lou. Maybe we do. Maybe Rory. I'm gonna bring the both of them. I'm not really sure where everyone is. But maybe they only come out on night. Seems like it's a werewolf thing. I don't know how we're gonna get our food then. Because we have literally no money. We have nothing. Ooh. Lou went into the bunker. Can we not go there? Non werewolves can't go there. So this was practically a waste of time but she has the red thing i'm gonna take a screenshot real quick thank you very much oh gosh i forgot the box wasn't there anymore <gasps> we're back home I'm going to spend some more time with Lu. Lu, Lu no. Lu's leave. We just got here, Lu. What are you doing? But Lu's gone. Lu was like, no. Lu decided he's not spending time with me. Fine by me. Whatever. Oh god, oh god, oh god. She's about to starve to death. No, she's not. But she's really, really hungry. And I don't have any mushrooms because I sold all of them. Um, 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 um. Raven ravenous hunger oh my god she's going to starve to death luna is ravenous something is definitely happening she what could she be turning into a werewolf she's go she's going to die she's going to die we have to leave we have to go to the volkovs the volkovs will help us right no we don't have to go with you do we bring blue let's just go let's just go right now right now babe before you die if you've watched my not so very challenge you know that my sim died on the first episode and we are not gonna let that happen again we're here his description says that he's willing to help lost werewolves so he probably knows that we are transitioning we're just gonna go we're just gonna get some food um 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 please don't die please don't die um have a quick meal cold what's cold cuts but let's have cold lily really no lulu's like no you're not gonna touch my cold cuts babes please eat please eat where are you going babes you're about to die of hunger where are you that is not important that is not important you she's going to die she's go oh my god forget about forget about him and please eat okay she's eating now it's fine and okay okay lily actually made who are you but i i thought lily was trying to block us from like against the fridge but she was actually making grilled cheese so i'm gonna get that because our we literally just ate and our hunger is like all the way half so i'm gonna grab some of that babes this is not the time <laughs> this is so exciting look at how fast her hunger is draining and she just finished a full meal okay jacob will you calm down it's not that big of a deal don't insult her cooking what are you doing what is happening jacob and a lot is going on jacob and lily were arguing but she's transform it's finally happening it's finally happening i'm just gonna go into tab <gasps> watch out luna is transforming werewolves who reach max fury will erupt with rage and start rampaging during this time werewolves have very little control over themselves and will give into their beastly instincts Ooh, i guess this is what the moon collective is trying to avoid she's enraged Luna's fury is unleashed. Wells who are rampaging are on a merciless warpath and have little control of themselves. The path that all wells walk is certainly cruel. 
did we make the right decision of joining the wild fans maybe we need to join the Moodle collective and become calm oh god let's just watch this it's happening it's happening okay okay we're doing a bit of that she's wilding she's wilding Ooh, ooh, what is she doing is she going to attack her she doesn't seem to be doing anything she seems to be completely fine prideful i don't know what these are this sim feels a special pride about being a werewolf and doesn't appreciate me to feel otherwise aside from gaining fury while embarrassed or uncomfortable they might also think think they might also take things a little too personal dormant abilities dormant abilities are available at any tier and don't require spending ability points each is unlocked by completing the relevant objectives for that ability and then the tiers we have pop then we have runt then we have prime then we have veter veteran and then we have apex well that was a bit anticlimactic. what is she doing he used this ability what was it what's it called what the pacify i think he pacified us because our fury just went down or maybe he did it i'm not sure but i think he did she's transforming back and she's scared what happened where am i from a first time transformation what just happened to me where did i run off to i have so many questions is this what being a werewolf is like i think she's kind of questioning herself but i'm gonna head back home but i'm gonna see if there's anything i can edit in her wolf form i'm gonna unlink them because if you watch my random genetics challenge you should know that that is gonna cause a disaster and i actually like her wolf form she looks kind of cute but i'm gonna change a few things i don't like this eye shape i think it makes them look a bit too unrealistic so i'm gonna change them to something like that i prefer that eye, sh that eye shape way better but i'm gonna actually change the werewolf eyes to like the typical golding then for your ears i kind of want to go for something like that okay i wanted to play to the full moon but a lot has already happened in this episode so i'm actually gonna leave it here really excited to see what happens next and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe it will really help a lot and it'll take me one step closer to achieving my dreams basically and while you're in the clicking mood consider following my socials on screen or in the description and i will see you guys in the next episode good damn bye